Napoleon Bonaparte, a name synonymous with military genius and imperial ambition, is one of history's most compelling figures. His rise from a modest Corsican background to become emperor of the French and a dominant figure in European politics is a tale of remarkable ambition, strategic brilliance, and dramatic downfall. This is the story of Napoleon. Born on August 15, 1769, in the small island of Corsica, Napoleon's origins were modest. His family was of Italian descent and part of the minor nobility of Corsica. His father, Carlo Bonaparte, was a lawyer who sought to improve his family's social standing. Napoleon was sent to mainland France for his education at the age of nine, where he attended the Royal Military School. In 1785, at the age of 16, Napoleon graduated from the military academy in Paris as a second lieutenant in artillery. His early military career was marked by a series of assignments that would hone his skills in strategy and leadership. During this period, he embraced the ideals of the French Revolution, which would shape his later career. Napoleon's rise began with his participation in the French Revolutionary Wars. His early military success, particularly in his victories in Italy against the Austrians, earned him a reputation as a brilliant strategist. The Italian campaign of 1796 was marked by the audacious tactics and a knack for leveraging both his own forces and his enemy's weaknesses. These victories elevated him from a relatively obscure officer to a celebrated national hero. In 1799, Napoleon orchestrated a coup known as the 18 Brumaire Crew, which led to the establishment of the consulate. Napoleon became first consul, effectively the leader of France, with significant power. His political acumen was evident in his reforms, including the Napoleonic Code, which restructured French law and has had a lasting impact on the legal systems worldwide. Napoleon's ambition extended far beyond France. In 1804, he declared himself Emperor of the French, a move that consolidated his power and marked the beginning of the Napoleonic Empire. His reign was characterized by a series of military campaigns known as the Napoleonic Wars, aimed at expanding French influence across Europe. He also had a close bond with his younger brother, Joseph, whom he appointed King of Naples and later King of Spain. Despite his successes, Napoleon's empire faced significant challenges. His invasion of Russia in 1812 proved disastrous. The harsh Russian winter and staunch Russian resistance led to a catastrophic loss and much of his Grand Armée. This defeat weakened his hold on Europe and set the stage for his eventual downfall. Napoleon's fortunes waned following the Russian campaigns. The Sixth Coalition, compromising Britain, Russia, Prussia, Austria, and Sweden, defeated Napoleon in 1814. He was forced to abdicate and was exiled to the island of Elba in the Mediterranean. His exile was short-lived, however. In March 1815, he escaped from Elba and returned to France for a brief period known as the Hundred Days. Napoleon's return was marked by a final campaign, but it ended in defeat at the Battle of Waterloo on June 18, 1815. Following this decisive loss, he was forced to abdicate once again and was exiled to the remote island of St. Helena in the South Atlantic Ocean. He spent the remaining years of his life there under British supervision, dying on May 5, 1821, at the age of 51. In summary, Napoleon Bonaparte's life was one of extraordinary highs and dramatic lows. From his humble beginnings in Corsica to his rise as emperor, his eventual downfall, his impact on history is undeniable. His story is a testament to the complexities of leadership, ambition, and the transformative power of individual vision shaping the course of history. As Napoleon said himself, impossible is a word to be found only in the dictionary of fools. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe for more content.